The fastest boy in the country lives right here in North Texas. But now his challenge is taking his world class speed to the next level in college when the university he's chosen to attend doesn't have a men's track team. It's a story you'll only see on CBS 11. Most people can't accomplish anything in 10 seconds. Pierre Gorey is not most people. I hate seeing people in front of me. It's just, I don't know, it's just, it's something in my mind. It's just like, like this, is, this can't happen. Just last month, the Duncanville class of 2022 grad won the boys 100 meter national championship in a time of 10.36 seconds, claiming the title of fastest boy in the country and has since been named Gatorade Track and Field Player of the Year. I just keep going to try to get better and better. You know, my talent always been there. You know, I just had to just to train and work hard for it. Clayton Brookins, who just completed his first year as head coach at Duncanville and had a distinguished career himself at TCU, can tell you exactly why Glory is on the fast track to success. I think if Pierre was to continue to run the track, he would definitely be a candidate to be on the next Olympic team. He has the, he has, like I said, the championship mindset. He has the the physical attributes. He has what. It takes. Crazy thing is, Pierre has what it takes in multiple sports because he's wearing multiple hats. Attending SMU this fall on a football scholarship, Gorey is part of the reason Duncanville has been able to reach the 6A state title game three of the last four years. Football has been my first passion, you know. When I came to track, you know, I, I don't know, it's just something about it. I fell in love with it, you know. And I just, I just kept going at both of them, you know, and I, and I got good at both of them. Interestingly enough, Pierre decided on SMU, knowing the school hasn't had a boys track program since dropping it following the 2004 season to close the gap in gender equity. While he's not backpedaling on his choice, the Mustangs in turn say they'll help him further his track career within NCAA regulations. But it was a good feeling knowing that I had people behind me supporting me in that community. That's what made me fall in love with that school even more. In all likelihood, he'll have to run and train independently when football season ends and track season begins, but promises that won't alter his path to greatness. He needs to follow his heart and he needs to do what he really wants to do. If he, if he does that, I think the future is, is limitless. You will see me on the track next year for sure. You know, here's the thing, uh, Brooke. He chose SMU when he was in football season. He said he wasn't thinking about track. Yeah. He had always been injured in football. He goes out and has this phenomenal year in track. Now, every major track program in the country wants him, but he says, hey, SMU is a hometown school. I already gave my commitment. Yeah. That's where I'm staying. I admire the commitment, too. I mean, that's, that's really impressive. You give your word. Yep. You keep Stand it. Stand by it.